This is part 98 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery selectable filter option with an example. This is continuation to part 97, so please watch part 97 before proceeding. Here is what we want to achieve. When this checkbox exclude weekends is checked, then we should not be able to select weekends, that is Saturday and Sunday. On the other hand, if the checkbox is not checked, then we should be able to select all days including the weekends. Let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. At the moment, we are able to select all days including the weekends. Now the first thing that we want to do is get this checkbox on the page. So back in Visual Studio, just above the unordered list element, we want to include this literal text, exclude weekends, and followed by that we need a checkbox, so input type equals checkbox and let's give it an ID. Let's call this CB exclude. So when we view the page in the browser, we should get a checkbox now. Another thing that I'm going to do is refactor the code that's present within our ready function. So at the moment, we have an anonymous function that is responding to stop event. Now what I'm going to do is move this code into a named function. So I'm going to create a function here. Let's call it get selected items and I'm going to move the code that is present inside this anonymous function into that named function. And another thing that I'm going to do is cache this selector. So I'm going to create a variable here and let's call this selectable list. So now we have cached that selector so we can reuse this variable wherever we want that. So instead of you know, using the selector again, I'm going to use the variable. Okay, so selectable list dot, we're calling the jQuery selectable function, and with the stop event, we want to associate this get selected items named function. All right, now when this checkbox is checked, we want to exclude these two days from the selection. Okay, so we have to detect if that checkbox is checked or not. And that checkbox has got an ID. And the ID of the checkbox is CB exclude. So here, let's go ahead and associate a click event handler with the checkbox. So let's use the jQuery ID selector again, find the checkbox, and associate click event handler. So now we have to detect if the checkbox is checked or not. So for that, I'm going to use this keyword here. So this refers to the checkbox. And I'm going to use the ease function and use this selector colon checked. So this function is going to return true if the checkbox is checked. Otherwise, it's going to return false. So if the checkbox is checked, we want to do something else. We want to do something. So if the checkbox is checked, what do we want to do? We want to destroy the selectable feature and recreate that feature once again. Okay, so I'm going to use this variable here, selectable list, and call the jQuery UI selectable function. And then I'm going to call destroy function. So what is this destroy function going to do? It's going to destroy the selectable feature. And then I'm going to use the selectable function once again to recreate the selectable feature using new options. So the first option is going to be stop. We still want to handle the stop event. So that does not change in any way. And in addition to that stop option, I'm also going to specify filter option. So what is this filter option going to do? The value for this filter option is going to be a selector. So that selector determines what elements within your list you want to be selectable. Okay, so I'm going to specify a selector here. Now, if you look at the list items that we have got within our unordered list, you know, we don't have any way at the moment to distinguish between weekdays and weekends. So what I'm going to do is introduce data dash value attribute and set this attribute to weekdays, weekdays for weekdays, and for weekend, I'm going to set that attribute to 
weekend. So we can use the value of this attribute to distinguish between weekdays and weekends. Okay, so in the interest of time, I have already typed the required HTML for those list items. So let's paste that right here. So if you look at this HTML right here, notice for all the list items of weekdays, we have that attribute set to weekday. And for weekends, that is Saturday and Sunday, we have that attribute set to weekend. So now we have a way to distinguish between weekdays and weekends. So now here, the filter is going to be all list items where data dash value attribute equals weekday okay so only weekdays now will be selectable within that unordered list all right so once we have you know excluded weekends from selection look at this if the you know options are selected like that and if I check this checkbox exclude weekends what we want to do is we want to remove those selections all the selections now we know that jQuery UI is going to apply UI dash selected class to the items that are selected so we want to remove that class from all those list items that are selected okay so to do that what I'm going to do here is so use another selector so we have this selectable unordered list that's the ID within that we have list items and what we want to do is remove UI dash selected class right so that's going to remove the selections and another thing that we want to do is when those items are selected within this development we are displaying the selected item so we want to empty that as well and we've got an ID for that development and it is result here it is so we want to empty that development so in addition to removing that UI selected class we want to empty the result development and to do that we're going to use the empty function alright so if the checkbox is checked that's what we want to do if it is not checked then we want the weekends to be included in the selection so even at that point we want to do you know a similar thing so I'm going to copy and paste the code that we have in the if block so now if the checkbox is not checked then our filter is going to be star meaning we want all the list items to be included within the selection okay and the rest of the code does not change in any way so if you look at this if and else block the only thing that is changing is the value for this filter so instead of duplicating code like this why don't we move this into a separate function so let's create another function here um, let's actually call that create selectable list and the variable piece which is filter value let's pass it as a parameter and let's copy this code let's actually cut it from there and paste it right here okay and instead of hard coding the value for the filter let's pass this parameter so I'm going to copy that filter value so filter equals filter value whatever we are going to pass so if the checkbox is checked what we want to do we want to call that function creatable uh, create selectable list and I'm going to pass this as the filter value okay because we want only weekdays to be included in selection if the checkbox is checked if the checkbox is not checked then we want to still call the same function create selectable list and this time the filter is going to be star because we want all the list items to be included within the selection alright so with all these changes let's reload this page and look at this when we check this checkbox we don't have any way to tell if the weekends are excluded from selection we don't have any visual feedback let's apply a class and provide some visual feedback to say that the weekends are you know excluded from selection so for that what I'm going to do is within our style section I'm going to create another class and let's call this excluded 
and what I'm going to do is actually change the background color to red let's retain font color as white and I'm also going to change the cursor style because at the moment when you hover the mouse over the selectable items look at that the cursor changes to a hand symbol but if the weekends are excluded from selection we don't want that to be a hand symbol we want that to be a default cursor so I'm going to set the cursor style to default and what I want to do is apply this class so within our function create selectable list I'm going to check the filter value so the filter value we are passing the filter value into this function if the filter value equals star then that means we want all the elements to be included in the selection including the weekends and if this excluded class is already applied then we want to remove that class from those weekend elements okay so first of all let's go ahead and create a variable here let's call this weekends and I'm going to use a selector here so the selector is going to be I want all the list items where data dash value attribute equals weekend okay so we are getting the weekend elements and if the filter value is star that means we don't want to exclude weekends from selection that means if the excluded class is already applied then remove that class so I'm going to say weekends dot remove class and the name of the class is excluded so let's copy that to avoid any typos and paste it right there so excluded else what we want to do we want to apply that class so that the background color changes to red so here we're going to use add class okay alright so let's save our changes and reload this page one more time and look at this when we check the checkbox look at that weekends are now the background color is changed to red and look at this when we have the mouse over the weekend elements you know it's not changed that to that hand symbol but now I should be able to select the weekdays look at that but when I click on Saturday and Sunday notice that nothing happens I'm not able to select those two elements and within the result set we don't have you know Saturday and Sunday displayed but I can select the other days and the result is updated dynamically now when I uncheck this checkbox at this point what it's going to do it's going to remove all the selections look at that and now look at that Saturday and Sunday the cursor changes to hand symbol that means I should be able to select those days and if you check this once again look at that they turn back to red and now I can select only the weekdays so here we have the HTML and the CSS styles we used in the demo and here we have the jQuery code that we just discussed Thank you for listening and have a great day.